Hey, yo, what's up, guy here? Hey, you guys are gonna want to stay tuned and watch this entire video all the way through. You're not gonna believe what I'm getting ready to show you guys. First of all, let me just say this. For those of you that do not know, I have seen Elvis Presley twice in person, okay? I saw him on February 19th, 1977 at the Charlotte Douglas Airport, get on his jet and fly to Johnson City uh, for a concert, okay? I did a video on that. You can watch it in some of my older videos. And also, I saw Elvis Presley on February 21st, 1977 on a Monday night at the Charlotte Coliseum, okay? And this is when I was 13 years old and I've done videos on that. You can go back and watch those. But what I'm going to show you guys now is some unheard audio of Elvis. And guess who else is on the audio? Me. Because not only did I see Elvis twice in 1977, not only did I uh, get the cup that Elvis drank out of the night that I saw him on February 21st, 1977, which is why I'm called the Elvis Cup guy. And there's videos I've done on that. Go back and watch those. But I snuck a portable Panasonic tape recorder into the concert and I audio taped the entire show so i'm going to play a small snippet for you and you get, actually get to hear elvis singing elvis talking and me talking all at the same time all on the same tape so it's a small segment but hang tight you're not gonna believe it's some really cool audio and it's gonna start now february 21st 1977 monday night uh went to the concert i had just turned 13 years old and i was at the elvis show and not only did I come to the show with my little Instamatic camera, but it was in February, February 21st. It was cold outside, so I had the bright idea to sneak my Panasonic tape recorder uh, under my coat attached to a belt. So not only did I get to see Elvis, but I managed to tape record it. So what I'm going to do is kind of analyze uh, in a few videos, uh, some of the things that took place, and I'm gonna share some of the recording with you. First thing you're gonna hear is right after CC Ryder and the I Got a Woman, Amen part of the show, uh, some of the chaos that ensued, and you can actually hear me with my little camera advancing the film and taking pictures and talking to my mother. So I'm gonna play a little bit of that for you now. Okay, so what was going on right there was I had taken so many pictures within the first few minutes of the show that I had already run out of flash cubes because back then you had to put a little flash cube that had four sides on it and you got one flash cube took four pictures with the flash and then you had to change flash cubes. Well, I'd already used all my flash cubes. So, so many people were taking pictures that it almost looked like he had a strobe light on him. So I was thinking, well, at any given time that I press the button, somebody's flash would be going off. So I was telling my mother, when he does something, I'll take a picture. And then when he moves, that's when everybody will be taking pictures of him and their flash will light up the image for my camera. So I'm gonna go ahead and proceed here.
Dana was also married. Okay, what happened just there was uh, some of the chaos that was going on, and um, there was a, a girl sitting beside of us, and she says, Elvis is drinking. And then uh, everybody screams, and uh, then I tell my mom, a cop told me to get lost. So, a couple of interesting things happened there. Um, number one, the little girl, or the girl beside of us that says Elvis is drinking. Well, I'll go into it in another video, or if you decide uh, to look it up, you can. If you just Google the Elvis cup guy, you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about, but I actually got the cup that Elvis Presley was drinking out of that night. So anyway, that's another story, another video. But Elvis is drinking. I've got that cup that is being talked about in the uh, audio that you just heard. Now, when I say cop told me to get lost, I didn't manage to get uh, the beginning of the concert and uh, CC Ryder on tape because before the show started and I heard all the screaming and everything before or during the intermission that uh, kind of signaled that Elvis had arrived, uh, when I heard all the chaos uh, while they were still having intermission, word went around real quick that Elvis had arrived at the Coliseum. So I told my mom, I, I gave her some quick instructions. I said, hey, when he comes out, start recording. I'm going to go stand near the stage. So I went down to the stage area and stood and uh, watched Elvis come out thinking that my mother was going to record Elvis right when he came out. So I managed to stand there for a few minutes while he sang C.C. Ryder and then a cop came up to me and said you have to leave the stage area you have to go back to your seat. So I had to leave and walk back to my seat. Well, when I got back to the seat, I got the tape recorder from my mother and instead of pressing record, she had pressed play. So I had to think real quick and uh, I was 13 at the time. Luckily, I, I could, you know, I, I knew enough there sitting in the dark uh, watching the show and, and trying to feel the buttons. I was able to rewind the tape and hit record. So that's really the kind of the first kind of conversation I'd have with my mother since before the show started because uh, I hadn't been there. I had been in front of the stage and then trying to find my way back in the dark back to the seat. So when I say cop told me to get lost, I was explaining to her why I was already back at the seat. I hope you guys got a kick out of that hearing just a small portion of the Elvis Presley concert that I tape recorded when I was 13 years old on my little Panasonic portable tape recorder on February 21st, 1977. And hey, uh, one other little side note. You may have noticed in that video, which was from my archives, and that video is probably two or three years old, that I was vaping uh, during that video. Well, I just want to say I do not condone 
vaping at all. It's it's not good for you, and I totally stopped a, a couple years ago. So anyway, just wanted to say that. If you watch that video, trust me, you do not want to vape. It's highly addictive. But anyway, hope you enjoyed that. And this is the Elvis Cup guy. And until next time, I'm out of here.